This is the story of my grandparents, who are among refugees from Southeast Asia. My name is Chris Suveng. I'm uh, 72 years old. I'm a father of five and a grandfather of eight. Hey, my name is Ka, and I'm 69 years old. And I lived this country for 46 years. To the present day, my grandparents have been married for 46 years. They initially met at a young age in Laos. At first, when we were still youth, uh, I went to a youth, uh, conference. youth conference. So we met over there and we just kind of uh, barely know each other by name. Not a good relationship yet. Although they did not live in Laos for very long, they still carry lessons and traditions of Hmong culture with them. Back in Laos, you know, uh, birth country, I think um, it, it is uh, taught us a lot of uh, to become a hard worker man. Uh, we have to work hard in order to um, earn money. Yes, I was so pleased or very grateful that I have lived in two countries. And I learned a lot about my native country like Laos. And when we came to this country, then I have learned a lot. So like I, I can, I speak three languages and I know the all like a traditional, like in my country that we are, we don't have everything like this country. And then we came here, we had everything. So it's, I had lots of experience. My grandparents were born in conflict long before the United States entered the wars in Southeast Asia. The fighting eventually became intense enough and close enough to their villages that they had to flee their homes. It, it is um, very awful. Why is that? Because uh, when the World War um, II over, wars continue uh, in, into our parents and continue to us. And we have to uh, move place to place and never have a peaceful life in a permanent place. I I live a life of very dangerous because in the middle of the night we see bullets fly all over in the village so we have to get up and run, run for life. So that's difficult. And since that, I still young, but we had to move one village for a couple of months and then we had to move again because the war is keep going, so we have very difficult. We cannot have any permanent house or life to live. Coming to the United States as refugees was quite the experience for my grandparents. When we came to this country, uh, we have uh, more opportunity to learn, uh, to adapt to the new culture of this country, uh, which we have to learn how to live um, as an American. For me, it's like an open my eye that I can see um, in this country, they have more education. And um, I, I know that lots of love in this country, these people that love other country a lot to the poor so it's so blessed that i have lived this country so i receive love love loss of love from this country although my grandparents came here as refugees the trials and tribulations they earned their rights as u.s citizens became proud asian americans i just want to let other people know that i myself 
when I came to this country, I have to work hard in order for living. Because uh, when I came to this country, I can see that the American people they not that they not lazy at all. They work hard every day. Uh, so I'm one of the hard worker in this country. Uh, in order to help myself to raise my family and to become a successful man. For me, um, I want other people to understand for me that um, even I don't speak English very well, I don't un understand very well, but I, like my husband say, we work hard. After I, we arrive this country six day, the six day we work, we got a job, so we work even we don't speak any English. I just wanted to take this chance to say how thankful I am for my grandparents and all the work that they went through and for allowing me to tell their stories. I could not be prouder to say that I am their grandson.